Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandon with Be The Installer. I'm here today because people are streaming and they don't know what to get, if they should get an Amazon stick or a Roku. So I'm gonna show you the differences and we're gonna find out which one is right for you. Today I'm going to show you the differences between a Roku and an Amazon stick. Most of my customers need some sort of smart TV device and I come across these two devices and I always wonder why do I choose one or the other. So I'm going to go over the similarities and differences and I'm going to help you decide which one is right for you. The Roku Streaming Stick Plus is a great 4K device to watch your TV shows and movies if you don't have a smart TV or if you even want to make your smart TV smarter. So let's check out this device and see if it's right for you. So the Roku is great for people that want simplicity. It has a very easy menu to navigate. To go online and find apps is very simple. Um, the setup takes a little longer to do because you actually have to do it on a phone. But once you get it set up, it's straightforward. It's great for seniors and people that aren't very tech savvy because I can go to their houses and I can just set it up for them and they just know right where to go to get that app they wanna use every time. The Roku actually was the first one that came out with a remote that had a power button and volume on them. Uh, it used to be that they just had a volume control, but now they have a power button as well. So the setup with the Roku is great. It's very easy to use. The operating system or the screen is very easy to navigate. So you have your apps that are on there. You can download different apps. It does come with a bunch of them like Netflix and things. And you can add uh, apps by going onto their platform and finding the ones that you need. Uh, and on the home screen, it's very basic. It has them lined up in a grid and you can just choose one app at a time. One of the downsides with the Roku is that it takes a little bit to set up. Uh, I never like it when I have to go uh, away from the actual TV screen I'm on and, and use a mobile device to set up another app. The Amazon stick is great for people that like Amazon. I mean, that's obvious. So if you're an Amazon user, you watch Prime a lot, you wanna have an interactive menu where all the different apps are on the same menu and you can see the different movies and the TV shows that you have all on one screen, the Amazon stick is great for that. So like the Roku, the Amazon stick's pretty straightforward to set up. You actually go on and you use your Amazon email and password. So if you're an Amazon Prime user, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, you don't have to go off screen and use a different device to set it up, which I like. So it's a little quicker in that respects. Now, the home screen's a little different. The home screen of an Amazon stick is actually a little bit more robust and interactive. So if you log into all the different accounts that you may have, a Netflix, Amazon Prime, a Movies Anywhere, then um, you kind of have access to all of it on the home screen. So I want to give you an example of how the Amazon screen is a little bit more interactive. So we actually have a Movies Anywhere account and Amazon intuitively knows that we have certain movies from that account. So when we go to the Amazon home screen, it shows up that we have certain movies right there and we can select from them. Whereas on the Roku, it's a little different. You have to find the app, go into it and then see what you have. So with the Amazon screen, you see all your movies right there. And as you're scrolling through things that may or may not be in your service, you can check. If you click on it, you'll see you have access to watch it and you can just resume watching it from one device to another. And so that makes it pretty easy to use. Um, so if you want a little bit more busy screen, that's what the Amazon stick has. And if you want a very basic menu where it's very uniform and you know exactly where you're going to be each time, the Roku is a little bit more basic and easygoing. One drawback to both these devices is that you have to make sure that there's apps available. Before you purchase one of these devices, go online and see if these devices can control the different apps that you want to use. In San Diego, one of the issues with the Amazon stick currently is that it doesn't support the Spectrum app. So for clients of mine that want to use the Spectrum app, I actually have to use a Roku TV or an Apple TV. Well, let's summarize what we said. So the Roku is really good for seniors and people that aren't very tech savvy. It has a very basic menu. It does take a little bit longer to set up, but once you set it up, you can get into your apps one at a time. If you just use one app here or there, the Roku TV might be for you. But if you're a big Amazon Prime user and you don't mind a little busier screen or you want to have apps interact with each other a little better, uh, the Amazon TV might be for you. So let me know, do you have one of these or are you going to get one, the Roku or the Amazon stick? Leave a comment below. So I hope this Amazon versus Roku video is helpful for you. If it has been, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and be notified when we put a new one out. And remember, by watching these videos, you can teach your friends how to be the installer.